Hey folks, Ryan Kennedy here with livingfit.com, your trusted resource to improving your health. And today I'm gonna to be talking about fish. Fish can be an incredibly good source of protein, fatty acids, and beneficial nutrients to our health, but there are some fish that you should be avoiding while some fish you should be consuming, and it's important to distinguish the difference between the two. And I'm gonna be sharing with you three of the most toxic fish you should avoid at all costs that are preventing you from reaching your goals and optimal health, as well as my three favorite fish that are low in toxic heavy metals that you should be consuming in abundance due to their health health benefits. In today's world, with all of the toxic buildup everywhere, it's getting into our water supply and really contaminating a lot of our foods, especially fish and seafood. Now, as a general rule of thumb, when it comes to fish, the bigger, predatory, longer living fish have a higher body burden of toxic compounds because they've been living for longer and they've been eating all the other fish so they have a big bioaccumulation of all these metals like mercury, cadmium, arsenic and other different PCBs and contaminants in our environment. For that reason those fish are going to be very good to avoid even though they may have been okay to eat hundreds of years ago in today's day and age I would stay away from them at all costs. The first one is shark. Shark has a number of issues and it consumes a lot of other fish and lives for a long time and is very high in mercury. Mercury poisoning is a huge problem in our society because we have, a tr we have trouble oftentimes detoxifying it and it gets into the cells and bone skeleton of our, of our bodies and really causes all types of neurological issues. It can lead to cancer and other chronic diseases and it's really damaging to our health. So shark is one to always avoid and it also really damages the food chain because people are overfishing sharks. And trust me guys, I'm an avid surfer. The thought of less sharks in the ocean sounds pretty darn good. But when you, you can't really think about it like that because it all comes into play with the food chain and when you overfish a certain species and you're killing off too many sharks, it has a chain reaction and causes all types of other problems into the environment and food system. So avoid shark. The second one is swordfish, another long living fish that has a huge accumulation of mercury and should be avoided at all costs. I know it can taste pretty good, but do avoid swordfish. It's not a healthy fish to eat. The last one I would say would be tilefish. It's not quite as common, but it's another fish that's very high in heavy metals and shouldn't be eaten very often. And honestly, I wouldn't eat it at all. Even though those are the top three, a fourth one I would say are tuna, particularly the bigger tunas like yellowfin. Another, that's another one that's really common and really delicious, but really harmful to our health. And the benefits of the fish do not outweigh the body burden and toxic load that it brings to your body. So avoid shark, swordfish, tilefish, and dramatically reduce your intake of bigger, longer living tunas. Now, on the flip side, there's a lot of beneficial fish. And I'm gonna be going over my three favorites, but there's plenty of other fish and seafood options out there that are also low in mercury and heavy metals and beneficial to your health. These are just the three that I consume the most often and that I really like. The first one is wild caught salmon. It's very important anytime you're eating any fish or seafood that you always go for wild caught. Farmed raised salmon has a number of problems with it and can contain all types of toxic uh, com compounds and really damage the environment. And then they have to put all these chemical dyes into the salmon because they become so sick and they're not getting their natural diet that they turn gray. So they have to dye them pink just so that they look presentable in the stores. So avoid farm raised salmon, always go for wild caught. I eat wild sockeye salmon at least twice a week. It's an incredible source of selenium, fatty acids, omega-3s like DHA and EPA, which are critical for brain function and are powerful anti-inflammatory agents. And it's a good source of protein and other micronutrients. The second one I eat a lot that I love are sardines. Now a lot of people do not like sardines, they do taste pretty fishy, but if you do like them, they're an incredible source of good fats and protein and do not contain hardly any mercury or heavy metals. They're very clean fish and if you can get 
fresh, that's obviously ideal, but a lot of companies are doing good canned sardines that don't use BPA in the cans and are really bringing a convenient option to the marketplace that you can take on the go. I always take sardines with me whenever I'm camping or traveling because they're so convenient. I do suggest you get your sardines in water rather than olive oil. Now, olive oil is a very healthy fat, but the reason I always go for water is because a lot of the companies are using poor quality olive oil, and over time, that olive oil can become oxidized and even rancid, so I do suggest getting them in water, you can smash them up, and then add your own good quality extra virgin olive oil or whatever other fat you'd like to the sardines after you've opened them. That way you're ensuring that you're getting a good quality fat alongside your sardines. The third one I really love is mahi-mahi. This is a mild tasting white fish that you can use in all types of different recipes and it's a great option for people that aren't huge seafood lovers because it's a very mild flavor. So you can have it in all types of different dishes and it doesn't taste very fishy. That is a great one and a good source of protein and one of my go-tos I use in ceviche almost all the time because it's a really good way to get fish that's uncooked. So you're not denaturing the proteins and you're getting all the live enzymes and beneficial nutrients. So I love mahi mahi. Now another thing I always tell people is frozen fish is perfectly fine. Oftentimes these fishermen are flash freezing the fish on the boat, which preserves a lot of those beneficial nutrients and if they're vacuum sealed and flash frozen, you're able to have them months later and still get all of the benefits as if they were freshly fished recently. The other thing about freezing that's nice is it kills off any parasites. Anytime fish has been properly frozen for at least two weeks or longer, any potential parasites are now no longer an issue. So you're able to eat them raw when you're having, let's say, some sashimi or some mahi or some uh, ceviche, and you don't have to worry about that. So I always go for fr frozen fish typically too because it's more cost effective, it's a little bit less expensive, and you can really get it conveniently. You could have a whole bunch of frozen fish in your fridge and you don't have to be going to the fish market every week to, in order to get your fish intake. So those are my three favorite fish, as well as the three fish I think everyone should avoid in order to limit your exposure to mercury and other toxic heavy metals and toxic compounds found in our environment so that you can reap all the benefits of consuming seafood without any downsides. I hope you enjoyed this video. Head on over to livingfit.com and check out our other articles and videos so that you can learn how to look, feel, and perform at your best. Thanks for watching.